The Second World War was a conflict which saw over 60 million killed, caused untold suffering to millions more, and impacted upon every corner of the globe. Veterans of the war, speaking many years after the end of the conflict, when asked about why they think they survived, all mention luck. They refer to themselves as the lucky ones, the ones who made it all. In a number of ways, luck played a role to survival throughout the conflict. One example of luck is the story of the three men who survived the sinking of the battlecruiser HMS Hood out of her complement of 1,418. The three survivors all happened to be in the right place at the right time to enter the water and to avoid being pulled down by suction forces, allowing them to survive. There is also Major John Howard, who led the 2nd Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry of the 6th Airborne Division, who conducted a coup de main operation to capture the Khan and Orne Canal bridges shortly after midnight on D-Day. The following morning, Howard was shot in the head by a German sniper, the bullet penetrating his steel helmet and grazing his head. There is also the story of Canadian Jimmy Doohan, who would go on to find fame as the engineer Montgomery Scotty Scott aboard the Starship Enterprise in the television series Star Trek. Landing on Juno Beach on D-Day, Doohan was shot six times by a nervous Bren gunner, with one bullet which hit Doohan in the chest being stopped by a silver cigarette case. These are but a small selection of examples of luck and survival. On the 7th of June 1944, American paratroopers in Normandy took an unusual prisoner. The prisoner was a man who was clearly from East Asia, but who was wearing the field grey uniform of the Wehrmacht. The man was Yang Kyungjun, who was quite possibly the unluckiest individual of the war, who fought for three armies during the Second World War, none through choice. Little is known about the life of Yang Kyungjun prior to his service during the Second World War, except that he was born on the 3rd of March 1920. It is, however, known that he was a native of Korea, living in Manchuria. In 1938, as tensions increased across the globe, Japan was at war with China. That same year, aged 18, Kyung John found himself being conscripted into the Japanese military as part of the Kwantung Army. Japan had annexed the Korean Peninsula in 1910, which had set the stage for Japan's invasion of China in the 1930s. As Japan fought in China, tensions on the border with the Soviet Union increased. As part of the Kwantung Army, Kyung John was sent to northeastern China, where the Japanese occupied territory faced the Soviet Union. Between the 1st of March 1932 and the 16th of September 1939, Emperor Hirohito's Japan and Stalin's Soviet Union fought an undeclared war which some refer to as the Soviet-Japanese Border War. The war took the form of border violations conducted by both sides in which both the Soviet Union and Japan blamed one another for the violations which led to minor escalating border skirmishes. In 1935, the first shooting affray took place on the border between Mongolia and Manchukuo, in which several dozen cavalrymen from the Mongolian People's Army trespassed into Manchuria in the vicinity of disputed fishing grounds and engaged an 11-man Japanese patrol, which resulted in two Japanese dead and six wounded. In June, Soviet military personnel exchanged fire with the Japanese for the first time, which left one Soviet soldier dead. The incidents continued and culminated in the Battle of Kalingol, fought between the 11th of May and the 16th of September 1939. In response to a Mongolian cavalry unit entering a disputed area, which led to a brief attack and counterattack between Japanese and Mongolian forces, the Japanese launched a two pronged assault against the Soviets, causing the Kalingol. The Soviet forces, under Grigory Zhukov, launched a counterattack with 450 tanks and armoured cars which pushed the Japanese back. The fighting continued through July and August, with the result that by the 31st of August, the Japanese forces on the Mongolian side of the border had been virtually destroyed. Skirmishes continued into September before a ceasefire was agreed on the 15th, which came into effect the following afternoon. Japanese records report that of the approximately 28,000 troops deployed in the battle, 8,440 were killed, a further 8,766 were wounded, while between 500 and 600 were taken prisoner. It may be noted that the Japanese military doctrine prohibits surrender and that those believed to have been taken prisoner were listed as killed in action for the benefit of the soldiers' families. One of those taken prisoner at the Battle of Kalkingol was Yang Kyungjun. Following being taken prisoner by the Soviets, Kyungjun was sent to a Soviet labour camp. On the 22nd of June 1941, 
having conquered the majority of mainland Europe, pushed into the Balkans and begun pushing Allied forces back in North Africa, the German military launched Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. By the onset of winter 1941, the Germans were at the gates of Moscow. By December 1941, the Soviets had suffered a staggering 4,473,820 casualties. Of this total, 556,852 had been killed in action, while a further 235,339 had died from non-combat causes. 1,336,147 were classified as wounded or sick, and 2,335,482 were classified as missing in action or had been taken prisoner. Such losses were not sustainable. Desperate for manpower to replenish its frontline forces, the Soviet military made the decision in 1942 to replenish their frontline forces by drafting thousands of prisoners, pressing them into penal battalions. Among those now drafted into the service of the Red Army was Kyung John. Kyung John served with the Red Army for around a year, during which time he partook in a number of engagements on the Eastern Front. Between the 19th of February and the 15th of March 1943, Soviet and German forces clashed in the Third Battle of Kharkov. During the battle, Wehrmacht forces flanked, encircled and defeated the armoured spearheads of the Red Army south of Kharkov before an offensive was launched against the city itself, which began on the 7th of March. On the 11th of March, the SS Panzer Corps decided to directly engage Soviet forces in the city as opposed to simply encircling it. After four days of house-to-house fighting, Kharkov fell to the 1st SS Panzer Division, Liebstandort SS Adolf Hitler. Two days later, German forces recaptured Belgorod, creating a salient which, in July 1943, would lead to the Battle of Kursk. The Third Battle of Kharkov cost the Red Army 45,219 killed, missing and taken prisoner. During the course of the battle, Kyung John found himself taken prisoner by the Wehrmacht. Despite being taken prisoner for a second time, the war was not over for Kyung John as he was pressed into the service of the Wehrmacht as a member of the Ost Battalion, or East Battalions. The East Battalions were comprised of prisoners of war, many former Soviet personnel who volunteered for service or who were conscripted or coerced into serving. The Ost Battalion were integrated into German combat formations and were frequently stationed away from the front lines and were used for such tasks as coastal defence or combating resistance and guerrilla groups, thus freeing up regular forces for frontline service. Kyung John was pressed into the service of an Ost Battalion within the 709th Infantry Division. As part of the 709th Infantry Division, Kyung John was sent to France to defend a stretch of coast along the Cotentin Peninsula. On the 6th of June 1944, Allied forces launched Operation Overlord, the invasion of Northwest Europe. The invasion saw landings made by British airborne forces to secure the eastern flank of the invasion force, followed by landings made by the American 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions to secure the western flank of the invasion front before dawn saw Allied forces land on five beaches along a 50-mile front. On the 7th of June, members of the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, part of the 101st Airborne Division, operating behind Utah Beach, the westernmost of the invasion beaches, were advancing towards the beachhead to link up with the seaborne forces. During the course of their advance, they took a number of prisoners. One of the American paratroopers, Lieutenant Robert Brewer, the assistant platoon leader of a mortar platoon attached to the 2nd Battalion, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, remarked that the men of E Company had captured four Asians in German uniform, believing at first that the four men were Japanese. Initially, no one was able to communicate with the prisoners who were Kyung John and three others from Turkmenistan. Taken to the beaches, Kyung John was sent to a prisoner of war camp in Britain where he remained temporarily before being taken across the Atlantic to a prisoner of war camp in the United States where he sought out the remainder of the war. Kyung John remained in a prisoner of war camp until 1947 when he was eventually released. Following being released from captivity, Kyung John moved to Cook County, Illinois, where he lived until his death in 1992, seeing little of his wartime experience, not even to his family. During the course of the 7th of June, a photograph was taken of an unidentified Asian man in Wehrmacht uniform, being processed as a prisoner of war.
The official caption of the photograph, held in the US National Archives, provides no information regarding the identity of the individual, referring to him only as a young Japanese man. In 2009, a report appeared in the Korean press which contained biographical details of the individuals in the photograph, identifying the man as Yang Kyungjon, along with his date of birth, date of capture, release year, and noted his settlement in Illinois after the war. While providing all of these details, the article did note that it was impossible to definitively confirm if the man in the photograph was Yang Kyungjon, since he was captured alongside three other members of an Ost battalion. The man in the photograph, however, is generally taken to be Yang Kyung John. The Second World War impacted upon millions of lives and changed the lives of countless others in numerous other ways. Despite this, very few may have shared the extraordinary experience of Yang Kyung John, who fought for three dictators on different sides of the conflict before finally sitting out the war in a prisoner of war camp. In that respect, Yang Kyung John is quite possibly the unluckiest man of the Second World War. At the same time, having fought for three dictators on the opposing sides of the conflict and to have survived, Yang Kyung John can equally be called extremely lucky. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates, like and share. You can also help to support the channel at Patreon. Details are in the description box below.